Okay, so basically for returns and discounts, there are two types of transaction. One is the purchase and one is the sales. So first, we look at the purchase. Okay, if let's say they purchase a goods with trade discount, okay, and the transaction, they normally have a date, 8 December, okay, they say that the business actually purchased goods for resale on credit, okay, list price of $5,000 from Parker, less trade discount of 10%, okay, and if there's a trade discount, we will not record it in our accounts, we will immediately just less off from the list price, so if there's a trade discount of 10%, the remaining percentage is 90% of the list price, $5,000, which will give you $4,500, okay? First, when we get such questions, we do the double entries, okay? So when you actually purchase goods, your inventory will increase. So it will be debit inventory, 4500 at the same time, your liability will also increase because now you owe Parker money. Okay, so it's credit trade payable Parker four thousand five hundred. Okay, so if let's say you want to translate this into our accounts, how does it look like? First, if you have to open an inventory account, okay, take note that. Okay, the amount is debit increase 4,500, which will give you a balance of 4,500 debit. Okay, and the details will then be the opposite of this double entry, trade payable Parker. Meaning to say, this inventory increases, okay, because they have bought inventories and all Parker trade payable. Okay, on the 8th of December. Now, if we have to open another one, which is the trade payable Parker account, okay, it is, it's actually a credit 4,500. So credit 4,500 will give you a balance of 4,500 credit. Okay, and the details would then be the opposite of this double entry, which is inventory. Remember to do the working 5,000 times 90%. Okay. And this actually also, if you want to interpret it, it can be trade payable Parker. Why we owe Parker $4,500 is because we bought inventories. Okay, so this is a normal kind of transaction regarding purchase of goods with trade discount.